Well, our first stop is Memphis, where a pair of foodie friends with Italian roots followed their dream and passion for cooking to Italy and then back home to Memphis. The result, two popular restaurants where they fuse their influences of the Deep South and Italy. Their latest eatery is a nationally acclaimed place called, of all things, Hog and Hominy. Like our backgrounds were so similar that it was kind of like, well, I didn't even know there was another family that did what we did on Sundays. To the degree of craziness. Right. And I think the culinary bug is one of those things, it's like if it, if it gets you, it gets you. And it's like you either love it or you hate it. We had so much fun doing it and our grandmothers were such strong influences on our food and, and what food means to us. So it was kind of like, I don't know, it just it made sense. Michael Hudman and Andy Tyser knew long ago their shared passion for food would lead to this two award-winning restaurants that showcase their inherited fusion of Southern and Italian influence. After college, they followed a plan. First culinary school in Charleston, South Carolina, then back home to intern with a top master chef, then off to Italy to discover old world cooking techniques. That's really where I would say like our food really took shape, our whole idea, like the idea behind what we try to do. It's like how not to waste food and we try to come up with different creative ways to make it approachable for, for all of our customers. After Italy, it was time to make the big move and open a restaurant back home. When we saw this place, it reminded us of when we, when we lived in Italy so much. Our favorite part was going to those restaurants without the sign on the door. It was just a family's home, and you walk in and they just kind of prepare whatever they were making that day. They, like, they'll give you their house-made wine, and. Uh, we loved it so much. It was so comforting, especially for us being like so far away from our families. And uh, we wanted to kind of bring that experience back to Memphis. They named it Andrew Michael's Italian Kitchen, and it was an instant success. Food and Wine Magazine even named the guys two of their top 10 young American chefs. Italian food and Southern food have so many similarities. That, you know, they both kind of rooted in that peasant form of food. And when you get, it's all about to what we've realized, it's all about in season, and that's what we've tried to focus on. So you take this, and it's simple. You don't you don't try to manipulate the food that much. You just let it kind of. Our farm, our, yeah, time. our farmers work so hard that we try not to screw their stuff up too bad. Yeah. <laughs> After a couple of years, they wanted to try another dining quest across the street. The quirky name Hog and Hominy even reflects their southern roots. Tennessee was known in the 1800s as the Hog and Hominy state. They were the biggest producer of, of pigs and of pork and corn. And so we were kind of like, that's kind of catchy and snappy, so we decided on that. It's a more casual place with a more fun approach to food. We try to have fun. It's really loud. The, the menu's kind of set up to where you come in, just you share a sharing. bunch of food, and you yeah. just have fun. Andy's making me a buffalo pigtail appetizer. So these are uh, pigtails that we've already braised. And a lot of customers order this once on a dare. They'd always come back for more. All right, so this is a pecorino vinaigrette. We grate pecorino cheese. We got lemon and cream. Mix it together. And then we'll do a little salt on our celery leaves and a little bit of fresh lime juice. It's all set up there. So how would you eat something like this? So the best way to eat it, the ears, you just go in there and start biting down on them. And then the tails, you kind of pop the whole thing in your mouth and then chew on it. And then all that's left is the bone. It's the easiest way. If you try to get a fork and knife in there, it's never going to happen. Not going to work. <laughs> Buffalo pigtails. There you have it. That's good. Right? Yeah. You don't waste anything. Use the whole animal. Everything but the squeal, I used to hear. <laughs> right? Hog and Hominy's signature pizzas are Michael's Pride and Joy using a specially built brick oven. So we have our fire on the left hand side, and then we do pizzas starting at 12. And we have five spaces that we rotate pizzas in. Michael's gonna make me a house favorite red eye pizza. This is our uh, the one that we do with the red eye pizza. This is uh, all of our salami scraps, red wine, uh, Calabrian chilies, a uh, little bit of tomato paste, and pork stock. Do a little bit of the cooked tomato sauce with all of our salami scraps, a little red wine and chili flakes. Uh, so this is some roasted pork belly that we have. So we take the Newman Farm pork belly, put a cure on it overnight, roast it in the oven and then we shred it. Some fontina cheese and then this fresh buffalo mozzarella. We use the Caputo Brothers cheese curd. It's just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and a little salt. A few more ingredients go on and then one final touch. 
Looks beautiful. Let's finish this pizza off. Do a little bit of cheese. Parmesan cheese. Salt and pepper the egg always. So that's the red eye pizza. Here goes my first sample of red eye pizza, complete with the egg. Mm. Wow, that's an explosion of taste. I've got to lick my fingers. It's so great to be a part of a city where they want to be able to get behind you, and they want something awesome, and they want something different, and and it, it makes and fresh us, and healthy. And, yeah, yeah, it makes our job easy. You know, it's like we just have to keep on pushing ourselves to make sure we keep them coming back. Where else can you have a drink and play a game of Italian bocce while you wait for your meal? Meal is so good that Condé Nast Traveler named Hagen Hominy best new restaurant in the South. It's just unreal, and it was a, it's a huge honor, and it just has a lot to say about the staff that we have, and because we can't do it all by ourselves. So I mean, it has a lot to do with everybody that's behind us in the city of Memphis. Michael and Andy now enjoy the kind of success that inspires many young American chefs. Well, you must have really uh, supportive wives, both of them, right? Yes. God. Yeah, they, they are, are definitely they are they're, our they're, they, Yeah, that's they're our, uh, the strength behind this team yeah. for sure, and they allow us to do what we need to do. And, and they're, the coolest thing about it is they're totally supportive. Like, they see that we get to do what we, our dream and what we love to do every day, and they totally understand it. And despite the long hours, their passion for creating great food only grows. It's an American dream that was spawned many years ago.